You know what's the worst part about doing online research? Opening dozens of websites, scrolling through endless pages, and copying tiny bits of data one by one. It's slow, boring, and honestly, soul-crushing. Last week, I was trying to compare laptop prices across multiple sites. Amazon, Best Buy, Walmart. And, after just 15 minutes, I thought, there has to be a smarter way. And that's when I discovered Browser Act, an AI tool that literally does the browsing for you. Instead of clicking, searching, and copying manually, you can just tell Browser Act what you need. Like, find all gaming laptops under $1,000 and list their prices, ratings, and links. And it goes out, visits the websites, and brings everything back neatly organized for you. It's like having a personal assistant that never gets tired, never complains, and works way faster than you ever could. So today, I'll show you exactly how Browser Act works, how you can automate your own browsing tasks, and how this one tool can save you hours every week. The link is available in the description below, and after signing up, you'll see a dashboard like this. Here we have three main options, Workflow Builder, Quick Agent, and Integrations. Here you'll find featured templates which you can view and use anytime. Let's first test the Quick Agent, which is ideal for simple ad hoc data extraction. Here, you need to add an agent name and a description. Then comes the Agent Manager, where you'll enter specific instructions. For example, I'll write, Use Browser Control to open the Amazon website. You can write more detailed instructions. The more details you provide, the better your agent will perform. On the right-hand side, you'll see the Tools section, where you can configure the browser control settings. You can choose the environment or region where your browser will operate, such as the USA or the United Kingdom. You can also select the Intelligence model, like Fast Model or Intelligent Model, and define the execution style. Under Agent Settings, you can set options like the maximum run steps. Once everything is set up, click Publish, choose Publish as new version, and then hit Run. Now we're in the agent mode. Here, you need to enter your command. For example, search Amazon for wireless earbuds under $100. Extract product titles, current prices, total reviews, and star ratings. Save as CSV, hit Send, and the process will start automatically. In step one, it will write a detailed step-by-step -step plan. Then it will navigate to the Amazon website, enter wireless earbuds under $100 into the search bar, and submit the search using the appropriate button. It will continue performing each step, and within a few seconds, you'll have your results ready. You can preview the results to check the file, which includes all the extracted data such as titles, prices, total reviews, and star ratings. You can also download the file for use. With this easy method, you can scrape almost any website effortlessly. Now, let's talk about the AI Workflow Builder, which is designed to create precise, reusable pipelines for more complex tasks. Click on it, and here you'll need to input parameters. You'll see it already includes parameter options, and you can easily add new ones. For example, let's add our first parameter. I'll name it Search Keyword. I'll enable Use Default Value and enter Gaming Mouse. Then click OK. Next, I'll add another parameter called Website URL and enter the Amazon Website URL. Then click OK. After that, you'll add one more parameter named Rating and set it to more than 90% rating. Then click OK. You can also add credentials if the website requires login access. Under the browser section, you can choose the operating region. For example, USA, United Kingdom, or others. Now, click on the plus icon to open the Node Action Library. First, I'll select Visit Page and give it a command in the description like Visit the provided website. Then, I'll add a new node, input text, and write Enter Search Keyword in the Amazon search bar. Next, I'll add another node by clicking the plus icon again and choose Extract Data. In the description, I'll write, 
Collect data from the full page, including brand name, product title, current price, discounted price, rating, and product URL. You can also add filtering criteria to refine the results. After that, click the plus icon again and add a new node. This time, select Finish Output Data. Choose the output format such as CSV, JSON, or XML. I'll select CSV and enable output as file. Once everything is ready, click Publish and then click Start. It will begin processing automatically. In the first step, it will navigate to the exact URL you provided. For example, Amazon.com. Then it will input power banks into the search bar, perform the search, and continue through the following steps. It will click the orange search button, submit the query, and quickly analyze the resulting page for any login requirements. Within a few seconds, it will collect data from the entire page, including the brand name, product title, original price, discounted price, rating, and product URL. Once it's done, your file will be ready. Click on Preview, and you'll see all your data neatly organized, just as per your instructions. You don't need to manually copy and paste details from websites into Excel sheets anymore. With Browser Act, you can do it all automatically and efficiently. So that's Browser Act, an AI-powered tool that turns hours of copy-paste work into just a few clicks. Whether you're a student, marketer, or business owner, this can save you serious time. Now, let's talk about one of the coolest parts of Browser Act, integrations. Browser Act doesn't just automate things inside your browser. It can also connect your workflows with other platforms like make.com or n8n.io. That means all the data you collect, prices, product names, ratings, can be sent automatically to Google Sheets, Notion, Airtable, or even your company's database. No more copy-paste, no more manual updates. Everything stays live and up-to-date in real time. Here's how to set it up. First, go to your main dashboard and copy the workflow ID from the workflow tab. Then head to the integrations and API section and click on create API key. Once your key is ready, link it to your workflow. Inside the workflow API page, you'll find everything you need, the base URL, authorization details, and usage instructions. Just follow these steps and you'll be able to connect Browser Act to automation tools in minutes. Once connected, your workflow can automatically push data to your Google Sheets, trigger updates in Notion, or even start complex automations inside Make or N8N. So instead of collecting and uploading data manually, Browser Act keeps everything running smoothly, automatically. And that's what makes Browser Act so powerful it's not just an automation tool. It's a complete data pipeline that works while you focus on bigger things. I've dropped the link in the description so you can explore it yourself. If you found this useful, hit that like button, subscribe for more AI tools, and comment what task you'd love to automate next. See you in the next video.